Alright guys, this is Punisher from WalkingDeadArmy.com and I am checking out my new Avermedia Live Gamer Portable Video Capture Device. Uh, ran across a really good deal on Newegg and it's still going on so if you've uh, been looking at getting one of these dudes let me go ahead and tell you, you can't find it any cheaper and you're going to be able to get it right now. They got it for $159 with the $40 rebate. So you're looking at $119 once you get your rebate mailed in and get the money back. Yep, we're good That's as cheap as I've seen it so far. So if you've got the opportunity that you can get one, get one. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Now I'll go ahead and set the gameplay up. We're playing on Grand Bazaar Rush. We're on ACC Hardcore Mix Server. And uh, it's me and a fellow uh, disposable hero member, Gumby888, as, as well as uh, Defiled, and I think uh, Jared uh, from uh, Walking Dead Army, and then Ambush also from Walking Dead Army. They jump in here a little later. So anyway, we're on the defense side right now, just playing around. But anyway, let's get to this Avermedia Live Gamer Portable. All right, guys, now this is the packaging that the Live Gamer Portable came in. Uh, comes in a right, nice package, uh, very very good packaging as you will see here. But you can uh, go ahead and open up the lid, and you get this uh, you get Avermedia, the actual unit right there sitting in the top. You got this little button. You see the little circle in the middle. That's actually a button that you can use. All right, but it comes in this little nice packaging, right? Um, and you also get this little carry case. It's one of the little things that you get with it. Uh, it's pretty nice, so you can carry it with you. Uh, you know, to uh, LAN events, that kind of thing, if you want to record some gameplay, because you can do this PC free. All right. And you also have these cables. It comes with a plethora of cables. You get an HDMI patch cable. You get a three, three and a half millimeter audio cable, a PS3 cable, a component video cable, and then your USB cable. Also get that little three month subscription that exploit, if you saw there at the top. Now, here's a big thing. You can use this to record with an SD chip. It has SD slot, but you need a class 10. Uh, SDHC chip okay you gotta have that now this is your little switch that you can either use for PC or you can do PC free mode just switch it left or right depending on what you want to do it's a good thing alright guys uh, you, the next thing you're going to need to do once you get everything open you're ready to hook this thing up you just need to have to update your drivers and uh, download the drivers uh, from the website so you go to Avermedia, uh, gamerzone.avermedia.com, and you have the firmware, and then you also have application drivers. All right, before you can run this latest version, uh, version 1.3.46, you need to run the firmware update. So get your firmware update for your device, and then it's download and install each uh, the application and driver, which is Rec Central. All right, once you get Rec Central installed, okay, you can. Uh, go ahead and set things up. Now the way I've got this thing set up is I'm running a current the current PC setup. I don't have a separate PC yet, although I am working on it. But you get your current PC set, uh, set up by doing the following. Okay, you, you go ahead and you hook your HDMI uh, from your video card to the HDMI input on your LGP. Okay, then you take that little HDMI cable that was provided with, a, with a LGP and you patch that to the uh, HDMI output on the device to your monitor. Okay, so now you get what you've got. You've got your HDMI feeding a video through the LGP and then out to your monitor. So you're seeing what you're recording. Okay, then you set your speaker. Okay, this is a key because this is something I had to do to get to be able to do live commentary with video. Okay, um, you, I do use a Logitech G35 headset. Okay, but for this purpose, you're patching your your uh, audio output to your LGP, and you want to be able to hear that uh, on your recorded video. So to do that, you need to take your speakers, uh, set this as your default. Okay, in my case, I'm using the onboard uh, audio, which is Realtek. Okay, set your speakers as your as your default device. That's the only thing you need to do here, other than maybe adjust your levels if you don't already have those adjusted. Okay. Next thing you want to do is go to your record tab. All right. Now, as you can see here, I'm using two microphones. Okay. I have the my headset microphone, the Logitech, but I also have this microphone. Okay. Here's the quirky thing. All right. There obviously is a bug with Rec Central. Uh, they do not recognize USB headsets, although it shows up in the uh, software. 
it won't save um, mp3 file um, of your audio to get this to work I've had to use to use an analog so I've got an analog microphone I've had for a while that I've plugged into the back of my computer and so I have to use that for the voice that goes to the LGP so anyway I have two microphones set up I have my G35 that I use for strictly now just to feed TeamSpeak and then I use the analog microphone plugged into the back of the uh, the microphone input on the Realtek okay and that's what's recording the audio going to the LGP okay so what you want to do is you want to have this set as your default device and you need to go under properties okay and you need to just have this playback and listen unchecked you don't want to use it okay adjust your levels however you need it to get it to register good okay and that's it now here's a key stereo mix alright this is how you're going to get the audio going from going to your LGP um, to your headset okay you're going to basically make a mix so that the uh, Realtek audio is also feeding your headset at the same time so what you want to do if you don't have this enabled you need to enable it um, if you do not see it on your display what you need to do is you need to have these checks show disabled devices show disconnected devices make sure these are checked so that you can actually see it and then you go ahead and enable it if you have it enabled okay uh, in my case you know I've already got it so it shows disable but uh, if you don't have it enabled you should see the enable right here okay so enable that All right. then go to your properties alright go to listen okay now you need to check listen to this device Okay, because you, this is what you want to do. You want to listen to the stereo mix, and you want to feed it to whatever your headset is. In my case, it's it's the uh, Logitech G35. Okay, when you do that, you should be able to hear your normal Windows audio and your in-game audio to your headset. Okay, if you don't have that, you're not going to hear anything because all your audio is going to the LGP only. Okay, so you got that, and you should be good uh, as far as Windows goes. You click that, and you're okay. Alright guys, so now we have the uh, Rec Central uh, software. Uh, what you need to do is go ahead and install this. Uh, you can do normal uh, or custom either way. They don't install, they have a bunch of adware and mess and junk they want to install. So just do the normal uh, install. And this is basically your, uh, that your, your GUI that you're looking at. Uh, so what you want to do um, initially is you need to come in and set it up. And you got a couple settings here. You got amateur you got newbie and you got pro and it uh, the GUI changes a little bit um, we'll go ahead and go to the pro setting alright and this is the pro setting and this is where you go in and set up your profiles okay uh, you have the different options here where you want to record to your current PC okay which is of course what I'm doing other PC if you have two PCs and you're using one you know basically for live streaming or you know record or recording um, but anyway if you're going to live stream with another PC you're going to want to check this and then you know of course if you're doing a game console then you use this right here alright video source okay uh, you have it I have HDMI checked um, you can go in and you can change your video adjustment this is just your color range okay you can get the full color range um, or you can do the standard uh, I don't you know I guess if you want the best quality you can use expanded but if you want to save some file size uh, definitely standards way to go alright and now this is uh, an add-on to what we already talked about with your audio because you know doing current PC live commentary is a quirky you know way of getting around it um, but you have to do it anyway this way so now we talked earlier about using that three and a half millimeter cable coming you know plugged into your speaker output on the back of your uh, sound card or you know on board if that, in case of me that's what I use but you have to select audio in as your uh, input because that's what actually what the jack on the back of the LGP is called is your audio in okay so that's what you're using to capture the audio and then your microphone okay selected to whatever you have that analog microphone plugged into um, as I said before I have no uh, 
luck getting my USB microphone to work for this. So as of right now, I'm actually using OBS to record what I'm doing right now because you know you obviously can't have Rec Central open um, and you know recording with it at the same time. So in case anybody was wondering, uh, now one of the cool features that this has is the fact that you can actually save your audio file. Okay. In this case, it's your microphone, okay, not your capture device, but your microphone as a separate MP3 file. Uh, that way, if there's any unwanted noise or something that you have, you know, feeding into your microphone, you can import it to an a audio editor such as Audacity, which is what I use, or, you know, uh, Sonar or any of those Pro Tools, all that stuff, any of those programs that work to uh, do audio editing uh, to you know, do any normalization, any, uh, you know, noise filters, anything like that, uh, you can do with those softwares with this uh, MP3 file and then import it back into your movie uh, or into your uh, video editing software like Vegas or whatever you're using. So, anyway, now you have a couple settings here with your microphone. You can have it always on. Um, you can actually set a hot key on your keyboard or you can have push to talk. Okay. Um, you know, I just leave it always on. I don't, it, you know, it doesn't bother me. Um, you can set your hotkeys right here. Okay, in the event of me, I have uh, my video is F10, snapshots or screenshots is F9. Okay, uh, video format up at the top, you have a couple options. You got MP4. Okay, you notice it's using the H264 codec. Okay, and the AAC audio. All right, so you got the MP4 and you also have the TS. Okay. Now, I have not tried it yet, but, uh, you know, I was watching Level Cap's video, and he was talking about the TS uh, not importing your audio into Vegas, okay? For that reason, I'm using the MP4. I haven't tried it, but, you know, uh, I just figure I'd use MP4 anyway. I think it gives you a little less, uh, a little more compression than a TS. So, anyway, uh, resolution I have set to what I'm running native on my monitor right now, which is 1680 by 1050. All right, video bit rate, um, I have it set to max, okay, 60 megabits per second. All right, uh, all, this, all this does is it, it changes the uh, video quality, okay, and increases your render times in your video editor, okay. So if you want great video quality, set it to 60, um, but just be aware that your video editing is going to take longer uh, because it just has more data to crunch. So, you know, if you're looking for the best of both worlds, I would say set it somewhere between 30 and 40. I've actually ran 20. It didn't look too bad, but you can definitely tell a big difference. So, and I just, I just assume I have better video quality. I have a PC that can handle the uh, extra rendering, so it's not a big deal. All right. And then, of course, frame rates. Um, you you want to set it to your max frame rates, okay? One of the things that you're going to see, though, is that Especially with me, I'm typically running above 60 frames per second with my recording, um, so I will have some screen screen tearing. Uh, that's something that's uh, that will happen when you move really fast and you uh, you know you have that frame such a frame rate difference that you actually get a line across your video. So that's just a nature of the beast, I guess. Uh, I'm hoping there's a way that they can fix it here in the future, but right now I don't think they've got it fixed. So, but anyway, that's really it. Uh, you can set default your profile, um, name it whatever you want. I just left mine as default. I don't, I don't really care about naming it. So, and then you just want to save your settings, okay? And when you save your settings, and you hit that ready button, okay? And that basically arms Rec Central. And uh, then all you have to do is hit that F10 button, okay? On your, you know, or hit the whatever you bind your key to start your video. And if you're actually looking at your um, LGP, okay, you should have a solid blue um, light around your circle, your, your button there. Um, you can press the button on the uh, LGP or you can hit the F10 key on your keyboard, okay, and it should turn to red. And when you turn to red, you're recording. So you're ready to roll, man. It's a good thing. Um, I really like it a lot, but you should, you know, should notice that uh, you have your uh, LGP, your uh, I'm sorry, your Rec Central uh, thing down in your uh, start menu at the bottom, and that's pretty much it. Um, so anyway, guys, I've been enjoying this thing. It's been good. Um, 
And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you're looking at footage now uh, where I recorded with the uh, Live Gamer Portable uh, live audio. Ooh, uh, everything's as as running good. And uh, with the yeah. setup that I was running, that I showed you. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it actually really is good. I have no frame it's rate, frame rate loss rate now, uh, which before, you know, I was using DX Tori right, and I was having those issues. So I was running. Um, probably about 10 frame rates per second lower running uh, DX Tori and doing my videos. Uh, but now I have no frame rate loss. Okay, it's very nice. This thing, you're able to record this thing. Uh, it has its own processor uh, encoder. So you don't have that frame rate loss like you would with anything else. So I would just recommend you uh, get this thing it really is a good device um, it's a little quirky to get set up at first but I think if you follow uh, what I was just saying uh, you shouldn't have any issues if you're going to use this in the, in the configuration like I am so, alright guys I hope this helps you out uh, give me that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, you guys have a great day we'll talk to you later bye bye